right, good morning. Welcome to another adventure with Traveling Ronin Man. Uh, today we're going to be little, do something a little different. We are going to explore some uh, covered bridges here in Pennsylvania. Um, so Pennsylvania has over uh, 300 covered bridges. It's by far the most in, uh, in the country. So we're going to drive around here. We are in Perry County which is just north of Carlisle, and we're gonna see about six or seven bridges along the way. Um, I don't know if I'll break this up into two videos, or just have one video, we'll, we'll see how it goes. Um, but that's what we're, we're doing today. Uh, we should be all right with the rain, it's overcast, um, but I think we'll be okay. So let's get going and let's check out some covered bridges. The first one we have here is Rice's Bridge, or the rice Lannisville Bridge. Um, this was constructed in 1869, and this is across the Sherman's Creek here. And if you're familiar with covered bridges, this is a uh, the uh, the Burr Arch Trust. But it's a little bit different. It mixed with a little bit of the King Post and the uh, Queen Post in here. So it's kind of kind of different here. So this is 132. Sorry, the truck. So this is 132 feet long. Um, built in 1869. We'll just walk through here a little bit, and then uh, we'll go back. Here's some information on Rice's Bridge. It's in Perry County. Um, it was prior to 1871 and re was reconstructed in 2003. So, a little video here. Look back through the bridge. A nice, uh, nice, nice, nice scenic view here overlooking Sherman's Creek. All right, nice look from the side here. Uh, there's private property down there, so we can't go down by the water. Um, but we can stand up here along the road. Pretty scenic. That's Rice's, uh, that's Rice's Bridge. the Cockendurfer Bridge here. Um, so this one is closed, as you can see, to pedestrian and vehicle traffic. Um, it's privately owned, um, and this is one of the later models. It was built in 1919, which is um, pretty late for, um, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's uh, pretty late in the uh, game so to speak. You can see the, uh, the post, the post in here. Not much to this one. So this is the Cockin the Cockendurfer Bridge. Cockendurfer Bridge. This is a beautiful location out here in Perry County. Again, if you do come view this, please please be respectful. This is private property. Um, but it's gorgeous, gorgeous scenery out here. Looking back towards the bridge. I'll see if I can get a side view of it. It's, it's going to be a little tough. Here's a side view of it. I'm going to see this is privately owned, so it's in a little, uh, it's in a little rougher shape than some of the ones that are um, under preservation, but still a pretty, uh, still a very pretty, uh, pretty location. Yeah, there we go. There's a better, this better look of it. All right, so we add the next destination. So this next bridge is the Seville Bridge. And it's uh, currently owned by the state of Pennsylvania. 
Um, it was built a little bit later, of course, than it was built in 1903. And even though the state owns it, it's in a little bit of disrepair. So we'll walk across and we'll walk over there and see and see what it looks like. This one is open to vehicular traffic, so you want to be careful. It has a red, uh, red trim to it. And here's the specs on this one. Uh, Seville Covered Bridge from Perry County. Built in 1903 and it is 67 feet long, which is one of the shorter ones we've we've seen. So walk down this way. Oh, there's a horse and buggy there. another look at the Seville Bridge with the name on top uh, but that was pretty cool seeing the uh, horse and buggy uh, going across of course it is a Sunday and we are in Amherst country so we may see more of that today on, on a journey but uh, that was pretty wild actually take one one look uh, at the King at the King Post Trust there One last look, walking through here. All right, we're, we can drive across this one, so we'll drive across this one. And then we will uh, turn around and continue on tour in beautiful, beautiful Perry County. next bridge on the tour is Adair Bridge and this is one of the longest covered bridges in the state that spans 160 feet and it was built during the Civil War 1864 so it's also one of the oldest in the state too so it is it open to vehicle traffic so we have to wait See the, the this is the more traditional burr the burr arch truss bridge. We get to the other side, take some pictures. You can get a nice little view of it down here. We go down underneath here. This is definitely my favorite one. You can see the mountains in the backdrop. I need the creek. Probably a better place to park than where I parked on the side of the road. Um, but man, pretty, uh, pretty pis pic picturesque bridge here. There's the bridge in the background, 160 feet. This is definitely my favorite so far. This is Adair's covered bridge. Um, you can tell that they have made some improvements to it and it's one of the longest 
in the state. Very, very pretty, uh, very beautiful backdrop with, uh, with the fall colors over here uh, uh, with some farmland. So this is my favorite of this trip so far. We still have a few more to see, but uh, yeah, you can't, you can't, you can't beat this location. Bridge has been completely refurbished. The Bisline Bridge, 106 feet long, built in 1874. You now the beautiful setting goes over the Sherman Creek, like most of these bridges do. Uh, you have a picnic table down here. You can have a picnic, um, but another beautiful, beautiful setting. We'll go up there, take a closer look. Bridges Sherman's Creek. This is a more traditional uh, building with the arch, and then you have the uh, it's called the King Post down here with two. Uh, you have the King Post right here with the big one. And the two little posts coming out along the truss. So that's what most of these bridges here in Pennsylvania are the building style. Check out the roof. All right, so you may be asking, Ron Man, why were the bridges covered? Well, it's based for practical reasons. If you have a roof covering the bridge, it's going to protect the bottom from weathering from and, and from the elements and uh the bridge is practical because it goes across across the river so um that's why the bridge recovered for uh practicality and for uh pragmatism so there you go one last take one last look here all right on we go it's, it's the enslow bridge I guess all these bridges are pretty close to each other. And there's actually a boat ramp down here. You can go canoeing. I guess you could drive across that too, but Beautiful location. So we reached Books Bridge. I'll show you that in a minute, but I want to show you this. This one actually has a little placard. So this was uh, from 1884 to 2003, and we are in Perry County, and there are a total of 14 um, covered bridges left in Perry County. So Dares Bridge, Bisline, we have Books Bridge. Of course, you just saw Enslow. Uh, New Germantown, we'll hit up later. Um, that'll be the last bridge. Um, Rice's Bridge, we saw. Seville Bridge. Uh, Cockendorfer's Bridge, we saw. And then the Wag uh, Wagner's Bridge. So there are 14 left in Perry County. And they're all listed on the National Register of Historic Places. So I'll, sh I'll show you the bridge, um, 
You know, it's Spanish Sherman Creek, of course, because most of the bridges do. It was built by E.S. Palmer and Son in the summer of 1884. Um, due to its deterioration, the bridge was replaced in 2003 by a replica structure you see in front of you. So this is not the original bridge. This is a replica of it. Um, um, but we can still go check it out. All right, Mount Pleasant Bridge. Another absolutely gorgeous location out here in Perry County. And the guidebook says if you come out here on a sunny afternoon, which we are out here on a sunny afternoon, uh, you might see some Amish uh, horse and buggies come, which we saw at the uh, at the other bridge earlier. We uh, we saw some Amish horse and buggies, so that so that would be that was definitely the highlight of the day. My mom's with me; she loves uh, she loves horses, horse and buggies, so that's good. Um, but this is uh, I'll show you. This is a King Post Trust, a King Post with with the Queen. So this is a little bit different. Uh, um, so you have the key, uh, the queen post um, with with the king uh, thing. So that's a combination of the queen trust and, and the king. So you have the the king post down there in the middle with the two things coming off the side, and this is the queen uh, the queen post. So and that what that does is that goes underneath and it, it butts up against the um, the uh, foundation there to keep to to keep the bridge up. All right, beautiful location. These are very rural. There's not a whole lot of traffic out this way. Um, some of them are busier than others. This one is not, but this one is a gorgeous, gorgeous location out, out here. See this side needs a little uh, TLC here. Because it's exposed uh, to urban, so the wind and, and the rain and the snow just just keep being out. Where the other side is shaded by trees, so it's a little more it's it's a little bit more protected. All right, our last bridge of this tour, the new Germantown Bridge. Go up here. Walk through this real quick. See if we can find the specs on this. See if you can guess what kind of design that is up there. Look, the queen post, a difference between uh, the queen and the king post. Well, that would do it for this tour of some covered bridges here in Perry County, Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania has over 200 covered bridges. Um, I love covered bridges. I may do something like this in the future, um, do, do more exploring around the area. So um, tell me which one was your favorite bridge. You can leave it in the comments. Um, um, I, I know which one I have, um, but uh, leave it in the comments if, um, which, uh, which bridge you like the best. And until next time, I hope you're living your best life, and we'll see you in the next adventure.